on results and discussion. If you have any questions, you may ask. OK, um, we will wait for another two minutes, perhaps. Is that OK? OK, so could you recall how many components we have in the assignment, guys? Five components. Introduction. Methodology and then the teacher review and then list out and and the uh, and conclusion. Conclusion and reference. References. OK, so first is uh, introduction. The second one is literature review or methodology. Literature review, right? Yes, literature review and then methodology and then methodology followed by results and discussion conclusion and then you have references. OK, clear. Is that clear? Yes, miss. So today we're going to look at the writing part and I'm going to uh, create your submission counter in a while. OK, for you to submit your assignment. OK, now results and discussion like what I've said, it's a component where you have got to use statistics to justify because we're dealing with quantitative uh, journals. OK, and you have um, quantitative researchers, they populate what do they populate? Statistics. Recording has started. OK. Uh, hold on. I want to do something here under meeting options. Okay. Okay. Uh, shall I put you all in groups? Can you start on the right up? Guys, there are 32 of you. How many participants do we have in total? Okay. Excuse me, Miss. Yeah, Tina. Miss, I wanted to ask um what um what assignment are you meaning? Sorry? I'm like, which assignment do you mean? You said you're going to create um something submission, like which assignment? Individual. I thought you extended it to twenty-third. Yeah, but you need a place to submit your assignment. I'm going to create it. Otherwise, you can't submit your assignment on the 23rd. Oh, OK, OK. Thank you. There's a submission counter that will allow you to submit your assignment uh, by 23rd. Get it? But Miss, you choose 17. Yeah, I need to alter. OK. I need to alter the date. Otherwise, you won't be able to submit uh, on the 23rd because the deadline is says uh, 17, so that will be altered. All right, OK, now let's start with. Uh, let's start the write up on results and discussion so that you have an idea. OK, and you don't have to do a very lengthy, you know, like a real assignment three quarter. Just mm -hmm. show me at least half of the work. That's fine. OK. All right, so. Um, let me just type the instruction here. I'll do the breakout group, yeah? You work in the breakout group, okay? 
group of this is a mini write up not less than 200 words or maybe just 100 because this is just for tutorial purpose, yeah? So just about 150 words will do, of not less than 150 words, with, I'm typing it out, okay? With minimum. Unresolved uh, discussion. Yes. Yep. We are using the JT sources, right, for this one. Yeah. Now we are doing. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I have posted the instruction. So you got to use use. JT, good question, yeah? JT1, JT2, and JT3. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll give you time up to 11, okay? For you to do the right time, because yesterday you guys did the table already, right? to 11 and then 11 I'll start giving your feedback meanwhile I'll be visiting you from one group to another okay once you're done you'll be brought to the main uh, foyer the main group any issues do uh, send me a text on on teams just put it in the general chat okay all right okay let me just put you in groups uh, miss, the CP is used for our individual one, right? Yes, correct. That's for your assignment. Okay. Uh, I think it will be good if you could use the same group yes yesterday. What do you all think? Uh, yes. Some yeah. us, but some of us were joined with the group of the other tutorials, so... Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So shall I? Um, so do you want to, shall I form a new group then? Yeah. Okay, so guys, whatever statistics you have today, just mutually agree on which statistics you want to use and start writing. You don't have to redo that statistic task. Is that clear? Yes, miss. Okay, good. Any questions you can always ask? Let me just put you say, um, Miss. Yep. Um, how about the groups you created last time? You want to use the same group, Ken? No, no, no. There is some groups like we created. I think it was at the beginning of class, something like that. But I don't see that group here. It, it, we didn't form like G1, G2, G3 in the no, main. It's chat. like the, the group that we yeah. created by ourselves. Yeah, you want, you want to be in the same group? That's fine. Okay. That's fine. But how many groups were there? Um, six, group. I guess. Six groups. So shall I just create channels easier? Yeah. Can I create channels for y'all? Yes, miss.
six groups, is it, guys? six groups um yes miss so you guys know which group you belong to um, we know the members we haven't named the groups yet but we know our members okay so g1 who mm -hmm. would like to go mm -hmm. g1 can i just quickly get like you know you can just randomly choose your groups g1 who would like to be in yeah g1? yeah sure uh let, 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 let's go for Okay, G2. Who would like to be in G2? Mm -hmm. Me, ma'am. Okay, who's that? Me, Saad, ma'am. Okay, Saad's team. G3? Um, us, ma'am. Tina? Yeah. Okay. G4. We can go for G4, Miss. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who's this place? G4. Uh, Il Alam. Il Alam. Okay. Thank you, Il Alam. G5. 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 Kritakon, do you have a group? Kritakon? Uh, yes, yes. Which so. group? Mm -hmm. uh, wait, I miss. G1, G2, G3, which one? G4? We still have two mm -hmm. more groups. Mm -hmm. Mili, are you there? Manhang, mm -hmm. Long Manhang. Long Manhang, are you there? Uh, yes, miss. Uh, Manhang, which is your group? Oh, wait, wait. Can you take G5, please? Manhang, could you take G5? Uh, miss, just to confirm, this group is just for this assignment. Yeah, right? just for today, just for today. Oh, okay. Then I take group five. Can I? Thank you. G6, one more group. Usma, do you have a group, Usma? I think she has left. Krita, do you have a group? Krita, call. Uh, miss, yes, I have a group. We have five people with us. G6, can you take G6? Uh, okay. Okay, so you guys go to G6, okay? Right. I mean, somebody in chat already wants G6 though. Mm, then all the groups are full. G1, G2, G3, G4, all the groups are taken then. Then which group is empty? What about G5? No G5, is it? Oh, G5? No. G6 is empty. It's okay, just take G6. G6 is empty. Okay. Manhong. Long Manhong. Long Manhong.
Excuse me, man. I do. Yep. Uh, man, keep tell me who's in uh, in our group. G two. Uh, no one has started the meeting yet. Who's this? Saan is it? Uh, yes, man. Saan, if there is nobody, then I don't know which group you belong to. If G two there is nobody, means that group is not active. You just join your group. Which is your group? 
Uh, man, I, I have chosen G2, I guess. You can't choose groups. You really, you must have a group, existing group. You can either join uh, G1, G3, G4, G5, or G6. You can join any one of these groups. Uh, all right, thank you. Okay, so G2 is not being used, it means. All right, Sa'ad? Okay, ma'am, thank you.
Okay, guys, how did the discussion go? There are still some on hold, miss. Me meaning they are not back yet. The group done, Kritakon? Oh. I'm not sure. I mean, we just came back since it was already 11, but we did write something, but we're not sure whether it's correct or not. Like, we're not entirely sure what are we supposed to write out. Okay, Krita Khan. Um, which group is this? Uh, group 5. Do you all need help? Uh, maybe we can check on our work. Okay, I'll come to group 5 now. Oh, okay.
ok? I go back, guys. Yes, miss. OK, good. So sharing screen earlier, I think it went off. OK, can all of you please post your work like this? OK. All of you, please post your work. All right. OK, so there is no time, not much time left, so I have got to comment on this. OK. All right, could you all see the screen? Is it clear? Yes, miss. OK, so if you look at this, yeah. It has to be number one, it has to be in one paragraph. OK, this group have written so many paragraphs and uh, G1. Is all this on results and discussion? Yes, miss is okay. on this result and discussion. I remember, Antonio, you have to highlight your ideas. You must highlight your key points. OK, so this is your key point. In fact, the results from JT1 has the same alpha such as JT1 got a mean score. You see, your language is not very formal. Eh? Got is not a very formal word, but this is fine. 90 mean score. OK, while JT3 got the highest 3.2. How come this one is 90 and this one is 3.2? No decimals on this one. OK, to make clear. Language problem. This is all language issue. Huh? The culture is the society, but your explanation is good. All right. So language. So this one, bring it back up. So you're moving on to the next one here, right? Perceived risk, isn't it? You're looking at this, right? OK, so you got the mean score here. Again, you see language is very colloquial. There is no any, you know, you got to formalize your language. OK, statistics, I don't see. Statistics. This one also your language is your content is fine, but language is very, very informal. OK. This one also language, huh? you see the red one, all language, very informal. OK, so now you're moving on to the next point. You don't have to write so much, elaborate so much. In fact, you need to add a bit more statistics like this one. Statistics is pretty good. OK, remember you are dealing with quantitative. We need statistics. OK, do not use words like phrases like we think because it means assumption. Do not assume. And don't ask questions, guys. You are writing, you are doing academic writing. OK, recommendation and all that. OK, I suggest you keep it for conclusion. OK, your content is already good enough. You have enough content there. You can keep this for your conclu conclusion. D1, is the feedback clear? D1, is um, the feedback clear? Miss, that means the content for the results and discussion that we have written are okay, la, is it? We so just have to. Good. Okay, you see, uh, content out of 10, I would give you 7.5, which is a distinction, you know. Okay, but language. You can only get two and a half out of five. Uh, miss, by the way, uh, mm. is academic research include language mark? Of course, this is academic writing. Uh, can I ask another question? Is like using question to hold audience attention is not yeah. allowed in academic writing? No, because that is speech. Right? No, that is because speech. I used before in like maybe just like article or even like facts like those question, uh, that, that problem and solution for those uh, right. essay, I also right. use this method. Yeah, 
because essays we have problem solution, cause and effect, argumentative. Am I right? This is also problem and solution. This is actually journal writing. This but is we are providing recommendation as well, right? At the at the uh, result and discussion part, we are providing our uh, recommendation for future researchers. Yes, you do, but you have got to put it in uh, a very formal tone, like how you do your article writing. You know, when you read the journals, it's the language you, you read in the journals. You have read about six journals, plus minus, including tutorial and um, assignment. Do you see the same tone? Do the writers in all the six journals have the same tone like what you have written? OK, OK, I got what you mean. Yep, same form. Yes, I got what you mean. So do you see the similarity and differences there? Yeah, there's so many extra explanation that is not required, but I, I, no, I no, know. No, not the explanation. I, know. I don't think it's explanation we're commenting on. The tone of writing. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Like very formal. Yeah, so you may do problem solution. Yeah, you would have written like this. Of course, the quality is another question. I don't know whether you got a distinction after writing like this. OK? So there are a lot of refining work to do. So guys, if you have a question, how I should write? What is formal writing? You know, uh, what is accepted? What is not accepted? You know, the journals you have been given to read, your six journals, that is the tone you should have in your assignments. If you're doing an essay for English language, EAP, it's different, okay? Yeah, it's English for academic purposes. It's correct, all right? Because we write for different purposes. Sometimes you write brochure to talk about a Venice, different tone. But this is academic journal. So you got to maintain the same tone. So is the, is the feedback clear, guys? Okay. Is the feedback clear? Yes, miss. Okay, so this is how you will be evaluated but of course your final evaluation there are more elements huh? i've given you all the marking rubric as well okay please read the marking rubric we will have to look at your referencing we will have to look at your uh, writing tone referencing there are four components analysis and so on but for tutorial purpose i'm just making it very simple okay making it very straightforward so that you can understand the point clearly okay any comments from g1 Any comments? Uh, Miss, so for G1, right, we have to state more statistics, more the explanation, you mean? G1, have more... you have no problem with explanation. G1, you have to work on your language, academic tone, because your content is distinction. Uh, okay. You got a distinction for your content. Yeah, this, you got this distinction graph, because you have enough main graph. ideas and you have enough elaboration. Get it? Yep, I get it. OK, thank you. Okay. I hope that's clear. OK, so let's go to the next group. Yeah, OK, G2, you have your content here, G2. G2. This is, you know, this is very difficult. You know, when I say G2, I don't get a reply. G, G2, I think nothing. G4, G3, are you there? Yes, miss. Uh, where's your content, please? Uh, the content is uploaded in our group and it's also been. It's in our general chat. OK, there. I'll go to your group and check. Yeah, because yeah, I went it's in the files. OK, OK, sure. OK, this is G4, yeah? OK, I'll just quickly give the feedback. Yeah, so G4, can you all tell me what is the problem here? First glance itself, what is the problem? Paragraph should be in one. OK, the results from JT1, JT2 have the same greater score. Such as JT1, OK, language is definitely a problem. You have mentioned about JT1, JT2, JT3, and then you only focus on JT1. OK, while JT3 receiving the highest three. OK, this is fine. This demonstrate that, OK, punctuation issue here. OK. Moreover, another reason why 
Okay, we do not use WH question. Huh? This is language issue here. Okay, but this is fine. According to JT1, JT2, no need uh, advocate and average of. Okay, do not have to write like this. Okay, let me just correct it. Okay. Okay, uh, G4, are you there, G4? Yes, miss. Okay, let me just, you see, you have the same issue with almost every sentence. Uh, let me tell you how you can put the statistics when you're writing, okay? Okay. Purchasers are not very concerned with as part of inter gritty purchases or oh, I'm just using short form here, but you can't use this, huh? Are not very concerned with aspect of integrity and this. Is clearly shown all the channels where JT one exhibits the highest three point two four. OK, get it? Can you see the difference in the writing, G4? You see your red one and you see my blue one. Do you see the difference in the tone? In how the statistics are presented? Yes, no? Yes, no? Yeah, I think I'm Yeah, got it? Guys, can I get a yes, reply, miss. please? Okay, thank you. Okay, looking at this, okay, what do you think the score could be? Can you tell me? What is the, any, any, what do you think the score could be? Can we, can I have the group members to evaluate the work, please? 
Can I have the group members to evaluate, please? Can you please evaluate how much of marks would you give to yourself for content? Seven. OK, why seven? Can you explain? As an I think, Miss, that we include uh, the required question. OK. So you you have you 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 have responded to the question. Yes, miss. Okay. Okay. In terms of language, in terms of language, language. Guys, speed up. Uh, in terms of language, must, uh, maybe three out of five. OK. Now, let me tell you, yeah, content, you could only get like 6.5. This is not a distinction content, OK? Because, you know, there's a lot of points there not really developed. For language, the maximum you could get is maybe three. But I'll put you on par with the earlier group, which is 2.5 out of 5. So plus minus, you will get 9 out of 15. This is how marking is roughly done. Is this clear? Yes, miss. OK, guys, do you all have an idea now? The rest of you? OK. Any questions so far? No questions, miss. The rest of you guys, any questions? Uh, miss, I got a question. For yeah. You said about the tone of the language for G1, right? What do you mean actually for the tone of language? Are you from G1? Yeah, from G1. I, actually, I didn't understand what you mean the tone means. Tone means formal tone, formal. Oh, so that's use the yeah. formal. Oh, OK. Yeah, like, so the like tone. When you write, for example, when you write a comic strip, your language is different, right? Yeah. Uh, so that's different tone. That is what we mean, we mean by tone. You know, when you see somebody, your friend, hey, come la, go for lunch, different tone. Would you like to join me for lunch? Different tone. Get it? Yep, okay, I get it. Okay. Good. Thank you, miss. No worries. Okay, guys. Uh, just give me about five minutes before I go to the next script. I just need to step out to the washroom for a while. Okay, I'll be right back.
Okay. Okay, guys, thank you for waiting. All right, so that is from G. Which G was that? Huh? G4, is it? Yes, miss. Okay, yeah, G4. Now let's go to G. Earlier group was G. Okay, now I'm looking at G5. Okay. So G5, shall we do a peer evaluation for G5? Guys, shall we do a peer evaluation? Shall we do a peer evaluation? You know what's a peer evaluation? I'm going to share the content and you are going to evaluate. OK, I think now roughly you know how evaluation is done. So let's see how that goes. OK. G5. G5 I have checked, is it? No, not yet. OK, here you go. OK, guys, we're going to do peer evaluation, meaning I want uh, I want the viewers, OK? Not the group members, but the, the rest of the viewers. I want you to evaluate your friend's work. So guys, this is learning, OK? We are not here to mark you down. We are not picking on you, all right? So after listening to my feedback for the two of the groups earlier, two to three groups, I think now you should be able to know roughly what is expected. OK, so I want you to go through, just skim through the work and give me your score. All right. And then I will comment. OK, so this is the work. All right, this is the work. Can you please give me the score, please, in the general chat? If this is the work, how many marks would you rate? Language and content and give me the total. Get it? Okay. Okay, you can start sending your feedback. So how would you, how many points would you give? Guys, speed up. We don't have much time. It's 12 6. How many points would you give? Okay. The rest of you, would you like to try? Okay. Saad is a very strict teacher. Okay. For this group, okay guys, content, your content is good. OK, in the sense that, but I think you could have developed a bit more of explanation. For example, OK, this is good. This is good. You see, you have integrity. Am I right? You explain high demand. OK, and then you got one keyword here and then every line you put the words besides, which means and then uh, this means. OK, so you have got a standard way of explaining one keyword, one explanation, one keyword, one explanation. It could be because of time constraint. OK, but if you're doing your actual assignment, you elaborate a bit more. All right. OK, uh, like you say, this is good. You see, you've given a bit a, a bit of, you know, deeper explanation. Something like this is good, but the problem is you couldn't maintain this throughout. OK, so because of that, your content is seven out of ten. Your language is, I can give you your language. You got to improve, but you can get 3.5 out of 10. 
So with that, your score is 10.5 of 10. No, out of 15. Get it? Actually, your content can be 7.5 if you pushed a bit more on your explanation part. Is this clear? G5? G5, is this clear? Okay, any questions? Okay, I'll move on to G6. G6, where's your work G6? Is it here? All right, very quickly, yeah? G6, is that all? Of course, your content is very thin, huh? not enough. Okay, if it's like this, six, if you get a very strict external examiner, they'll give you five. Okay, your language, I think the best compared to all the groups, but since your content is so thin, we can't give you very high, but your overall your language part is good. Because of that, you get 10 out of 15. If only your content is better, you would have gotten higher. You would have gotten a, a distinction easily. Okay, but in your real assignment, guys, listen very carefully. You cannot get four. You know why? Because four is if you have written more. If you write so little like this, you will only get about three. Is that clear? If your content is so short, how do we evaluate your language? We can't. It's not sufficient. All right. So understand the marking now. G6. G6, are you there? G6. Okay, clear. Okay, good. Any groups I have missed? Did I miss any of the groups? Did I miss any of the groups? Mm -hmm. Ours miss. Each one. Yes, correct. 151st. That's 150 words. That's correct. But you cannot list. You can, you can, you should be explaining further. That's what I'm saying. If you were to use the same method and you write 300 words, your score is still the same because you have to give the main idea. You have to explain and elaborate like what the rest of the groups did. Understand each one? 150 words, fine. That's not a problem. But you got to explain further. Okay? So when you are writing more, but you still use the same style, okay, without explanation, your marks will still be the same. Okay? All right. So is today's tutorial clear? You understand now how to approach uh, results miss? and discussion part? Miss. Miss. Yep. Uh, you missed our group. Which group is that? G3. G3, yeah. Okay, let me go back to G3. Okay, if you look at this group, they've given the sound, which means they've explained. And then JT3, okay? Another common variable was perceived, which means indicating, okay. Whereas, you see, higher score is this. So, people value honesty as a crucial character. Another common is perceived, which is indicating people understand. Meanwhile, two qualities which are likelihood of the product not working and purchasing it being a bad decision. You can't just simply use adjectives like these huh, in research. Like, why is this unique? Will you be able to justify why this is unique? Uh, yeah. Why is it unique? Uh, I thought I mentioned this to you in the call. 
it was the only journal that did not have mean values to be to be compared to to the rest of the journals. Okay, I remember that part you did yeah. mention. But you see, when you write, you see, this is the thing, guys, when you are consulting your lecturers, of course, that time we understand when you explain. But when you write it, that has to be translated like what you have explained. Otherwise, you know, we wouldn't uh, remember or realize. You see, J2 being unique journal indicates that price is the key factor behind people. Is this the only journal that says price is the key factor? Uh, no, but I did mention CR value for the JT2 and for the other two journals were the mean values. Okay, so your main reason why this is unique is because? The values that we're comparing are in different categories. Which is CR? CR and mean. Is that clearly articulated here? Not in the last sentence, but if you see the first sentence compared to the last sentence, then yeah. Mm, I think we need a bit more explanation if that's the argument, because if you want to say they have used CR, then you have got to justify why CR. Unique, yes, correct. You are not wrong, you are right. But why CR value? Is CR better than mean? Can you understand, Uzma? Okay. Okay. So that kind of evaluation will make the work to be distinction. Otherwise, this can be a credit, not a distinction. But you are not wrong though. But we don't have enough, you know, explanation. Get it? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So good work, but you know, you got to work on the content a bit. So content. Uh, overall, you do have explanation. That's all fine. Okay. So content. Of course, real assignment. You need to do more. Yeah. Language is also pretty and good. Okay. Language is fine. So this is 11.5 out of 18. Get it? Yes, miss. Okay. Is the explanation clear? Feedback is yes, okay. Miss. You know, understand my feedback? Yes, miss. Okay. Overall, guys, is the lesson clear? Today's lesson, is it okay? Clear? Clear, miss. Yes, miss. I really hope that this has helped you to give you a rough idea of what is expected in your assignment because what I've done is I've actually marked your assignment collectively with all of you before even you submit your work. That is what has happened. Okay, I've done a thorough marking, right, of how we will do it in real. Okay, for you to have an idea. Okay. If you have no questions, I'll start taking the attendance. Do I have any replacement classes with you? We are done, right? Done, yes. Yes, miss, we're done. Good. That's why I wanted to rush with the replacement yesterday because we can do this today and next week, guys, you have to show me your complete draft. Clear? True, miss. Okay. Clear, miss. Can I have your so many codes here? Hold on, yeah. Um, I need to know which class is this? This is ARS. Which one is this? T? Which T thirteen means I T Okay, let me check. Let me check here. Yeah? Keep the thing. Uh, let me just look at the name list. I will just extend the time uh, in the record because otherwise I can't take attendance. I have to put it as two hours and 15 minutes plus, I think. Otherwise, uh, we can't use barcode. Okay, here you go. OTP is 074.
Thank you, Mass. Have a nice day. Good day. So next week, remember, all of you have to show me your drop. OK, for next week, guys, remember, it's not going to be an active class where I'll be teaching like this because when I'm checking your draft, I have to go to your personal, you know, I have to go to my personal chat box. So the group will be very silent. So I will do the division of checking and let you all know how it will go. OK, it will not be very engaging to everyone. It's only going to be engaging to those who are submitting your work. Is that clear? Yes, dear. because your feedback, your assignment, I don't want you to upload in the general chat. You have to give it to me personally. So I will I will engage with you personally as well. So you, there'll be a long queue. You've got to wait and then your turn will come and I will I'll keep updating you on your turn. Is that clear? Yes, clear, miss. Have a good day, everybody. Stay safe. You too, miss. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm.